This patient has epistaxis that unfortunately didn't stop with compression and oxymetazoline, so we're gonna step it up a notch and try some TXA. We're using 10 milliliters of this 1,000 per 10 ml solution. So after a little bit of rigorous math, that is 1,000 milligrams of TXA. We'll use this handy dandy medicine cup. And now we're just gonna soak the gauze so it just absorbs all of that magical TXA solution. And this is just one four by four. And here's another key step. Remove that compression and then try to get an exam the best that you can. So we're looking for masses. We're looking for bleeding polyps. We're looking for a source of the bleed. We have the patient below her nose so we can clear out any remaining clot. She starts bleeding again. Spray a little bit of oxymetazoline just to squeeze down those vessels a little bit more. And now we get ready with our TXA soak gauze. Using the bayonet forceps, you're going to insert this straight back. Just like with any nasal pack, this is going straight back, not up, not to the brain. It's going along the hard palate. And it's surprising how much space really is in the nasal cavity. So we're basically gonna insert this all the way and then we're gonna let it sit there. She bleeds through it and that's okay. Just leave it in and start the timer. Here you go. We're gonna come back and check on her. We gave it 20 minutes. And when we come back, no more bleeding. You can take a look. Sometimes you see that blood dripping down the back of the throat if they're continuing to bleed and she is basically all done. We gently remove the pack, re-examine her, observe her for a little bit and then she's good to go home. Of course, some patients re-bleed and need to come back just like with anything, but this is pretty darn effective. And it's a whole lot better than going home with a tampon in your face.